It's the workhorse of the skies that flies with the look and grace of the whale. The Airbus Beluga, named affectionately after the Arctic white whale, is celebrating its 20th birthday. There are only five Belugas in service, but their role is vital, keeping the Airbus factories and final assembly lines humming. The Beluga is a transformed A300, refitted and reshaped to hold and transport huge, bulky sections for new Airbus aircraft parts between 11 different factory sites and assembly lines across Europe. The cockpit moved to the front base of the aircraft allows cargo to be uploaded from the front and it carries the wings and central and nose fuselage for nearly all the Airbus planes except the A380 Super Jumbo. What makes the Beluga unique is uh, the size of the cargo. Uh, we don't need to carry that much weight compared to uh, other cargo uh, business activity. Uh, but what makes it very unique is the size of the sections we need to transport. And this is where the Beluga is uh, one, if not the biggest cargo aircraft in the world, in terms of the volume it carries. As Airbus ramps up its production on the assembly lines to get its new aircraft to clients quicker, the Beluga will play its part too. All five transport aircraft will double their flight hours. The Beluga has a payload capacity of 47 tons. At the moment it takes about two hours to load and unload, a remarkably short turnaround but which will be cut down to just 90 minutes in the years to come thanks to new docking stations that will allow the cargo to be moved unimpeded by weather conditions. There is a significant ramp up in uh, a lot of the uh, Airbus uh, programs. And as the Beluga is at the crossroads of all programs, because we are carrying sections for all programs, the impact is even bigger on the Beluga fleet. So we have uh, a plan to uh, ramp up by 10 to 15 percent a year to fulfill the demand of Airbus production uh, systems between uh, 2011 and 2017. When the first Beluga took off on its maiden flight in Toulouse on September the 13th, 1994, there was just a handful of pilots flying the Beluga. Now there are around 60 pilots and flight engineers, all proud of what they do. Toujours la même impression depuis le premier jour. On se retourne et on regarde toujours avec autant d'admiration. C'est un avion qui est différent des autres et que je trouve très beau. Since that first flight, the Beluga has had special missions, including flying valuable artwork, including a Eugène de la Croix painting from the Louvre Museum to an exhibition in Tokyo, as well as satellites and even helicopters. They have not flown that much so far uh, in the last 20 years, so we can, uh, we can continue to, uh, to uh, use the Beluga for many more years, uh, and there's a great future for this aircraft. In fact, the Beluga is a great barometer on how busy Airbus overall is, because if the Beluga is working flat out, carrying parts to and fro, that means the rest of the company must be pretty busy too.